Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of our FIFA 16 Ultimate Team Player Predictions. Today, I've got another four players for you uh, as requested in the comments section below of previous videos. Uh, and uh, one of them is pretty big and it's Latan Ibrahimovic. I'll get to him at the end of the video. Let's get through the first three First of all, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button on today's video, that would be absolutely amazing. And like always, if you would leave the name of one player that hasn't yet been covered that you would like me to cover in a future episode, then make sure you do that down below in the comments. Let's get straight on into it, shall we? The first player of the episode is 79 rated Freddy Guarin, the Colombian who plays for Inter Milan in the Serie A. That's his current card on FIFA 15. FIFA 16, I think he's going to get himself a little upgrade. Uh, just by a plus one to an 80 rated overall card. And my god, that is, that's one hell of a card. Because I already love his 79 rated one on FIFA 15. FIFA 16 could be quite fun. 79 in pace, shooting, and passing. That's little upgrades in, in some areas there. Um, dribbling, 81. 69 defending, and 86 physical. Yes, please. So, uh, only minimal upgrades in certain areas. Like, his card already has one of the most, if you add up all of the stats, uh, has some of the most in-game. Literally, he beats some of... Some of the biggest players out there, like his in-game stats and stuff, they're always all awesome. So I think an 80 rated card is deserved. There's, this guy's also linked with a move possibly to the Saudi League. So if that happens, that would suck. Um, but also, I don't know, for, for possible future informs and stuff, you know, maybe he'd get more in that league. Who knows? Anyway, moving on to the second player of the episode, we have got this guy, Godin, the Uruguayan centre-back, who plays for Atletico Madrid in the La Liga. Currently got an 84 rated card, and I'm pretty sure that's going to stay exactly the same for the next FIFA. Uh, his head-to-head -head stats show that he's pretty much reached his potential, of course, you know, getting on a little bit um, with age and stuff like that, but I still think we're going to see a pretty good card. As he gains another year older, I think EA will probably drop him by another bit of pace, um, um, but even so, like 66 pace on his FIFA 16 potential card, I think is still usable. Like, Godin's a pretty solid centre-back on Ultimate Team this year. I've used him quite a few times. 87 defending and 80 physical. Now, that's pretty damn good. Uh, and, uh, of course, like, he'd just be a rock at the back. One that I would still use... Even though, you know, there's players that are going to be better than him. Even like a lower rated Pepe for Real Madrid. He's got more pace, so people are going to use that more often. But I still think Godin's worth a shout. You know, he's a very, very rock solid centre back. Uh, and let's move on to a skiller, shall we? Let's go with Yannick Balassi. Someone who had a great season in the Premier League last year. Uh, and oh, he had a few upgrade cards on FIFA 15. Like He started off as a silver card. Then boosted himself up to a gold and then got a couple of informs and a team of the season as well. And this is what I think will happen in FIFA 16. I think we're going to see even higher rated Balassi up to like a 77 gold, um, which is pretty good to be fair. Like big increases in dribbling and shooting for his FIFA 16 card uh, would take him up to um, pretty good levels of 88 pace, 88 dribbling. That's pretty solid. Like, he's very, very good on the ball. Uh, Five-star skill moves, of course, we all know that. I think there's a new sort of Balassi um, skill move coming in in FIFA 16 as well. So, pretty sure he's going to have five-star skill moves. Uh, definitely deserves them anyway. Uh, and, and just like 71 shooting, 73 passing, they're kind of low stats. But if it's anything like FIFA 15, then you can still score goals with players like that. No doubt about it. And a good one on him is 82 physical. He's not just... Um, a, a really quick little skillful player. He's also got a bit of bulk about him as well, which is great. Right, let's get on to the main one. The one that you all click this video to see is Latan Ibrahimovic. Currently has a 90 rated card on FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. And he did pretty well again last season. He scored a whole bunch of goals. Earned himself a FIFA 15 Team of the Season card, which is pretty much the highest rated card he's ever had, I think. Um, so he's obviously doing something right. Or EA are just boosting him for, for no apparent reason. But we all know that's not the case. Scoring goals left, right and centre. I do think he will be dropped a, a rating on his base card, though, next year. Age happens. Ibra's getting a bit older. I think he will be dropped down to an 89 rated card. Um... But the saving grace for this is, in my opinion, I think they will upgrade him to five-star skill moves. Now, the big killer last year was that we all we were all excited to use Zlatan in the next FIFA. And then EA dropped this bombshell that he was going to be a four-star skiller. And we were all a little bit mad. I, I especially was. Um, 
But I think this year they'll boost him back up. Let's face it, he definitely deserves five-star skill moves. He pulls stuff off in-game, which I don't think any other player can really do. He's a god, and I think even an 89-rated Zlatan, if as long as he's got five-star skill moves, that's going to be epic in FIFA 16. Um, things like pace might, might drop just a little bit. They might stay the same, um, but I think we'll see minimal downgrades. You know, like his card will still look relatively similar, but, but I don't think it will be a 90 rated card. I think it will be 89. But still, five star skill as Latan, six foot five, and all that agility and stuff like that that he's got. I'm giving that a thumbs up. Now, uh, those are the four players for today. We uh, They are sort of on your screens right now. Uh, we've got Guarin, we've got Godin, we've got Balassi, and we've got Zlatan. Uh, two five-star skillers in there, and then a couple of pretty decent ones. What have we had? We've had uh, one upgrade, one stay the same, one big upgrade in Balassi, and then Ibra's going to just drop down a tiny bit, in my opinion. Uh, if you wouldn't mind smashing a like on the video, that would be absolutely amazing. As I said earlier, if you could drop the name of one player down below in the comments uh, that you would like to see me cover that I haven't already done so. There's a whole catalogue of these videos on my channel if you haven't already watched them. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new. The social media links for the graphic designer of this card are in the description. I really like the card. Uh, and I'm thinking we're getting a little bit closer. You know, Gamescom is around the corner. We're going to start seeing what the actual card is going to look like. And I'm pretty excited about that too. So leave a thumbs up if you are excited about that. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you next time. Peace.